We were just in our office and working away and suddenly the lights went out and we kind of just didn't think a lot about it because power blips happen and then about, I don't know, 10-15 minutes later we all started talking about it and, uh, you know, just were sitting and waiting to see what happened and found out that it was a bigger power outage so decided to just cut our losses and go home for the day. We just canceled our meetings and... Um, you know, luckily we're working from home too, so just moving everything to the end of the day. So we actually came down the fire escape, the stairs, so we were a little concerned about taking the elevators because they were out of service, and so we didn't want to chance it when the power came back on because we weren't sure if it was going to blip again, so we walked 30 floors down to here. Now we're just a little um, disoriented because we just kind of cut the day off and, and we've got to readjust everything, so I think just a little disoriented. It's definitely messed things up here. Um, we had to stop our service and stop serving people, of course, and deal with payment issues and stuff like that. It's been a big commotion, especially with our appliances in the kitchen. Certain things might go bad. We're, we tried our best to, you know, salvage whatever we could. We packed all the food to go and we set them on their way. We're going to lose a lot of money, that's for sure. A good chunk. We've lost our lunch rush, obviously. There's no lunch now. And, I mean, we don't even know if we're going to be open for the rest of the day. So. I would just want to go to the Ian Center to go have lunch at Ian Center, but I couldn't cut out. People were crambling everywhere and the lights were out in the sword. People were running the Ian Center everywhere, like, back and forward. I thought something would really bad happen at the Ian Center because of the light rail. After I found out about the Eilidge, I felt I felt a lot better knowing, knowing nothing, nothing bad happened.